Dan Willis here, and we're talking about charge off debt and specifically the four steps for dealing with collection charge off debt. This is specifically looking at that charge off account that was sent to a debt collector and dealing with that debt collector. Because at this point in time, you have both those dings on your credit report. You have the charge off item and you have that collection, and we need to get rid of both of those. So the first one we're going to deal with here is that collection debt. We're going to go through the four steps of actually dealing with that and addressing it. And the very first step for every consumer dealing with any debt collector is to first request debt validation on your account. This is your consumer right granted by the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, FDCPA, and essentially what we're doing when we request validation, we're saying, hey, debt collector, you first prove that's actually my debt, everything's legitimate, everything's on the up and up, etc. After all, we didn't do any business directly with that debt collector. They just popped up out of the woodwork demanding that we pay them money. It's most effective if you make your validation request in writing and send it using certified mail with return receipt requested. That way you'll have evidence that you requested validation and evidence that they received it. You see, they're required to respond within 30 days of receipt by providing you with the documents, paperwork, evidence that proves, yes, this is your debt. If they fail to validate it for any reason, even if they don't have the paperwork in order, then in a accordance with the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, that debt is legally forgiven, as in you're no longer legally responsible for payment. Further, they're supposed to contact all three of the credit bureaus to have them remove that collection listing from your credit report. And if you'd like some help, you can get a free credit consultation by calling toll-free 1-877-418-7596. Step is the statute of limitations. This is a state law and it does vary, so investigate your local listings. If your account is validated, we next want to review that paperwork, those documents, that evidence that they send us to validate your debt. And the statute of limitations says precisely how long you are legally responsible for repayment. Again, this is a state law and it does vary. And this applies to the overwhelming majority of types of debt. Generally, it's about seven years from that last date of account activity. Once that time window runs out and expires, then in accordance with the statute of limitations, that state legislation, you are no longer legally responsible for payment of that debt. As we said, this applies to the overwhelming majority of types of debt, from credit cards to auto loans to health care to utilities, telecommunications, retail, and many more. The few exceptions are federal income taxes and federal defaulted student loans. Those are the two exceptions to the statute of limitations. And beware, one of the dirtiest, most common, snarkiest, and often illegal debt collection tactics the collection agencies use is to re-age consumer accounts. And this is done for obvious reasons so they can continue to try and collect payment from you despite your legal obligation be having ended. If you'd like some help, you can get a free credit consultation by calling toll-free 1-877-418-7596. Now, the third step is to negotiate a settlement agreement. And, of course, you should only enter into negotiations directly with that debt collector after your account has been validated and you've checked the statute of limitations. Assuming it's valid and it's within that statute of limitations, there's two parts of your settlement agreement. And it's best to get this agreement in writing. The first part is to always, always, always negotiate to settle your debt for much, much, much less than the total balance. Generally, you'll be able to settle for as little as 15% up to about 45% of your balance. The big variables with this is the type of debt and how old it is. Often, the older it becomes, the less you'll be responsible for paying but it's standard operating practice for debt collectors to accept a settlement for less. This is just SOP. It's what they do. It's the way the industry works. Please don't pay in full. The second part of your agreement is mission critical. You must get that debt collector to agree that in exchange for your payment, they'll stop reporting your account information to all three of the credit bureaus. If we overlook this part of our agreement, we're going to get stuck 
The only thing that's going to change is the status of that item on your credit report. It's going to go from an unpaid collection to a paid collection. A paid collection is still a negative, damaging, derogatory item that's virtually guaranteed to lower your credit score. Anthony Sprav, a spokesman for FICO, says that collections on your credit report can damage and drag your score down by as much as 100 points. That's huge! Now, if you'd like some help with this, you can get a free credit consultation by calling toll-free 1-877-418-7596. Before we share this fourth step, this idea of a pay-for-delete, if you're not familiar, this is where you demand that the collection agency delete the item from your credit report and then you'll make payment. It sounds spectacular. It sounds wonderful. It sounds terrific. And it sounds just about as great as Jolly St. Nick visiting every single house on Christmas Eve. That's about as realistic as it is. Or the BS that all these college professors spew day in and day out theories. It's not realistic, it's not practical. In our 10 plus years, we've yet to hear of one collection agency or one human being actually using this, despite you seeing it all over the internet. Instead, it's much more effective, pragmatic, and realistic to get them to agree that in exchange for your payment, they'll stop reporting your account information. Because this fourth step, we're talking about how to get this item off of your credit report. And to do this, we're going to use the credit report dispute process, and we're going to share the steps of this in detail coming up here. So, of course, subscribe and join our congregation. But in short, what we're going to do, we're going to dispute the collection listing on your credit report. Once the credit bureaus get your dispute, they get to deem it valid, and they deem it valid. They're required to investigate the item during which they're going to contact that collection agency and they're going to ask them to verify your account. As per your settlement agreement, the debt collector is not going to verify your account when the credit bureaus investigate. In compliance with the Fair Credit Reporting Act, this means the credit bureaus must remove that collection from your credit report. This is how to remove those dings, blemishes, and negative items from your credit report and do so legally and by exercising your consumer rights using the credit report dispute process. If you'd like some help, you can get a free credit consultation by calling toll-free 1-877-418-7596. Now, every last one of these alphabet soup laws have been passed to protect you, the consumer. Not a single one of them were passed for the credit bureaus, the debt collectors, or anyone else. It's all for you. It's just a matter of knowing this and being willing to exercise it and be persistent and be tough and like 64 other things. But your credit score at the end of the day, it's a lot like your grade point average in glory school days past. It doesn't matter if you're acing all your classes if you're failing underwater basket weaving because that's going to mess up your overall GPA. The same principle applies to your credit score and it's even more true of your credit score. Those dings, those blemishes, those negative items, that's what drags your credit score down. And if we can remove them by exercising your rights, we have a lot better better chances of getting a better credit score, just like with your GPA. If we can remove that F from your transcript, chances are you're going to have a lot better GPA. The same principle applies to your credit score. And we encourage our members to consider professional, legal, and legitimate credit repair companies to help with this because in 2016 alone, over 9 million negative items were removed from consumer credit reports. One of the best firms is the Credit Pros. They've helped their clients remove charge-offs, late payments, collections, judgments, repossessions, foreclosures, even bankruptcy marks from their credit reports. If you'd like some help, you can get a free credit consultation by calling toll-free 1-877-418-7596. Again, that's for a free credit consultation. The toll-free phone number is 1-877-418-7596. This is Dan Willis. We'll include a link in the description below over to an article on our website for the full story. We also have a free report available there, the seven proven ways to boost your credit score. And of course, subscribe and join our congregation because coming up next, we're talking about that credit report dispute process to remove this charge off listing from your credit report in detail. So subscribe and join our congregation. Have a fantastic day and looking forward to talking to you again here soon.